We made a litter box for our horses and it's awesome. That's right, people. We made a litter box, essentially, for our horses. I know that sounds weird. It's also called a dry lot, but that's the best way for me to explain it to non-horse people. I am not a horse expert, but my wife is, and we've been lucky enough that through her planning and research over the years to make what we think is a pretty good dry lot. So if you're just joining us on Whistle Thicket, make sure to subscribe, say hello to us. Tell us about your horses if you have horses. So we live in Western North Carolina. We have four horses and a donkey. We have about 20 acres, um, but if you are a horse owner, you know mud is horrible in the winter time with horses. We've been dealing with mud for several years. We've done a few things to try to combat that and it just hasn't worked. We finally have a success story to share you. We've been working on this for really over a year, just saving up over time. And here comes one of our horses, Dakota. Uh, I don't think he's in the shot, but come here, buddy. Hey, Dakota. This is um, our daughter's pony, her endurance racing pony, but he's right on the edge of the shot. I don't know if he's gonna say hello or not, but I bet he will. So, Mud is a big problem in the winter time for all farmers, homesteaders, horse people. I'm sure we've all lost boots before in the mud to bad mud. Now horses, it's really rough on horses in the winter time because if they're standing in mud, wet mud, they get hoof problems, hoof issues, they can get bacteria, lots of hoof diseases, and that is not good for the horses. And think about this, horses drink about 10 gallons of water a day. We have five horses, that's 50 gallons of water. A lot of that turns into urine, into pee. So what goes in comes out, people. So that's 50 gallons of water per day for five horses that makes a big mud puddle. At the end of the week, that's 350 gallons of pee. That's a lot of pee. So that's what we're dealing with. This dry lot again really has been awesome. Our horses have been using it for about two weeks with a lot of success. So this is our giant litter box, kind of similar for your cat in, in lots of ways actually. So I'm going to give you a tour. Um, you might get a chance to meet some of our horses here and I'm going to explain the dry lot to you in case you're looking to do something similar for your own horses to keep them out of the mud. Um, I know that's a big problem. If you're a horse owner, you probably agree with me. So real quick, I'm gonna point out our horses to you. They're just in our front pasture. Um, it's a small pasture, it's only about an acre and a half. Um, eventually, my wife's gonna have a uh, track system going around the pasture. If you don't know what that is, look for that in a future video. Um, this is not where they're just going to be in the winter time. We're actually working on a second dry lot up top. Um, but that's a work in progress. So let's go ahead and meet the horses if you can see them in the background. That black pony there is uh, our Morgan. He's Dakota, that's our daughter's horse. Then we have Corn Dog here. We have Izzy, those are both my wife's horses. Here is Biscuit, um, he's our family horse. He's a newer horse we've gotten. Uh, he's a, a fjord, a Norwegian fjord. Uh, let's say hi to him. Hey, buddy. Okay, he's getting his food on. And uh, we use slow feed nets so that our horses aren't able to eat too much at once. And it also really helps on, um, on hay waste. We don't have a lot of hay waste. And then if we take a step back, hey, bud. We have this hay hut. These are normally about $800. My wife found it for 150 bucks. So these two things combined with the round bale, we have a um, hay net over it. Um, and then we have 
the hay hut that really helps to minimize hay waste and if i take a few more steps back you do not see any hay on the ground do you uh that's because there isn't any uh very very little hay waste that saves us money and saving money with horses is good because horses are not cheap and you probably know that um eventually we're gonna get some stall mats to put on the outside of the hay hut and that's just going to help keep that area um, nice and dry. So I am going to give you a tour of our dry lot and explain how it works. So this area here was one of the, and is one of the flattest pieces of land on our property of 20 acres. We have a steep property, so flat land is valued. Um, this is a great place for the horses in the wintertime, in the summertime um and it's going to keep their feet dry so that's the main thing and it makes um getting rid of poop a lot easier so our uh, dry lot here which is still a work in progress like i said we're going to be adding a uh, track system but this is our dry lot it is covered in limestone crushed gravel here it is it's very fine, that's the key. If you're building a dry lot, you want crushed limestone that's very fine. You don't want like limestone gravel or any type of gravel because this limestone crush is, go is going to interlock and it makes a really solid surface for the horses to walk on. We do not have an underlayment underneath this. This is just um, about four inches of limestone crush and so far that seems to be working it's only been two weeks um we did not want to mess with the underlayment and i don't think we need to because even before the horses were on here this was like this for about four or five months it was uh cleared out basically and leveled but we had to add some railroad ties and some other things to that so um I think this is going to be successful. It basically is a giant litter box. You have to clean the poop. There's our little wagon, our poop wagon. You have to clean the poop with the horse uh, manure rake um, basically every day. It's been two days, so it took me maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Um, this isn't the, the, the only place they're pooping, but this area we want to keep poop free. My wife normally does this while I'm at work during the week and I'm trying to help her out because it's the weekend. Um, so the nice thing is eventually we'll be using our tractor, but we're using our tractor for other stuff right now. Um, and the tractor with its, uh, its rake will be able to rake the poop off and then we'll be having a nice manure pile that we can use in the future. Maybe even sell horse manure for gardens. Um, especially because our food is all organic. So this is why this hay lot is awesome or this dry lot is that horses eat more in the winter time because there's not grass and it's colder. So they need to eat a lot more hay. They need access to hay. So we give them access. They can eat hay whenever they want. And as you can see, some of our horses are also eating a little grass. There's not much grass. It's November, but they have a little access to grass right now. Um, so right, the horses are going to be in front of their hay source for most of the day most of the night um most horses feed more at night um so they're going to be peeing and pooping in that same place and normally it would get muddy but here the urine filters through the limestone and it doesn't get muddy from the urine and it doesn't smell like horse pee because since um, horse pee is acidic and the limestone is a base it neutralizes the um, smell of the pee, so it's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna keep walking and show you. Um, I haven't shown you our donkey, he's laying in the sun there. Um, this is our uh, water trough. This is 100 gallons. So with five horses, you would have three and a half times that amount of urine in a single week. Normally that would be making a big mud puddle, right? But as you can see, this is bone dry and we've gotten a lot of rain. That's another important thing. Rain and pee is what's gonna get you mud. And we've had a lot of rain the last week. And this stuff is dry, people. 
it's not dry in other places on our farm but right here it is dry so that is what i like about this dry lot um it does take a lot of upkeep you have to clean the manure every single day but you should be spending time with it with your horses anyways um so this is just our tour of our dry lot if you have any questions this has been a big project that is going to really help our horses help us in the long run but if you have any questions just uh comment below and i hope you have a great day if you like our channel like i said join us subscribe and uh i am happy to answer any questions if i have the answer if i don't i'll try to help you out still